Welcome to the very first episode of Suntree Spotlight. Today, I am beyond excited to shine a light on one of my favorite local spots, Times Square Pizza. I stumbled upon this gem while ordering pizzas one night with my family, and let me tell you, we were blown away. So much so that I had to come back for lunch the next day and try their famous stromboli. It was unbelievable. Now I'm here to spread the word about this fantastic restaurant that serves up a unique style pizza made with the freshest local ingredients. From mouth-watering specialty pizzas to their irresistible stromboli and finger-licking chicken wings. Trust me, there is something here that is going to tantalize the heck out of your taste buds. But enough of me talking. Let's head inside, meet everyone, and see how they work their magic in the kitchen. And of course, indulge in all of their delicious specialties. Are you ready? As I say in Italy, andiamo! One of our owners Fernando. and the chef, Fernando Hi. and, uh, and Sol. All Thank right. you for coming for my restaurant. I appreciate it. Oh, I appreciate you letting me come into your kitchen. That's Thank fantastic. You. So let me ask you, what inspired you to open Times Square Pizza? I try to make it for different in the area. So I put different ingredients for the pizza. So, and the wings too. The wings, I marinate wings. No. Like you said, they're marinated and double baked. Mm. You know, and that's why they're so delicious. And that's why they're so very good, very meaty wing, and secondly, very good sauce. So in what ways um, do you source and incorporate fresh local ingredients into your menu? Well, you know, we uh, it is important for us to have fresh ingredients, first of all. Why? Because that's what we, we believe in. We believe in also helping out local businesses in our area. Absolutely. We use we use all the local area produce places. Um, I use a basil, tomato. Yeah. Everything fresh, fresh yeah. from, from the produce places. We use a couple of the local area produce places for, for everything is fresh here. Nothing is frozen. Well, that was one of the things that impressed me so much because uh, growing up in New York and being Italian, you know, I've eaten pizza my whole life and I know what good t pizza and what good, what good food tastes like. And uh, everything was so fresh. The basil was so impressive, the way that you cut it up and put it fresh on the pizza like that. Those ingredients mixed together makes that beautiful pesto sauce. Every loves that basil. Mm. It's just amazing. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you compare this to other to other pizza places, a lot of them are going to be less expensive. They have dough that's already been made, and it's not the same ingredients. It's and you know, if you want good and delicious, you know, sometimes you have to pay a little bit more for it. So, and it's so worth it. It's so worth having the really good quality food. Thank you so much for your time. For I really time. appreciate okay. it. Thank, Thank you. you. And I appreciate it. Great. It's Thank nice you. to see you. Come for try. <laughs> I'm loving the basil. That's what it is for me. All right. So I'm here with Hernando Castellan. We're back in the kitchen. And uh, can I ask you a couple of questions? Absolutely. All right. Good. So can you tell me about the process of making this authentic homemade pizza? Because it's different than anything else I've tasted since I've been here in Florida. Well, thank you very much. I'd love to. Uh, it starts with our uh, mixer over here. We uh, have a, a blend of imported uh, flours that we use. Um, we start with uh, the flour we make in-house. We blend it, mix it, and then we bring it over here. Uh, it gets portioned out into uh, about 55 different um, dough balls that we use to make the pizza. From there, we throw it in our homemade breadcrumb that we use from the same flour mixture that we wow. have. And so you you make your own dough from scratch. Yes, from from with, scratch. And yep. more than one kind of. That's right. Flour. More than one flour. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's but a they can't of tell me who the, what kind of flour it no. is because that would that's a secret. Yep. Unfortunately. <laughs> and then yeah, from there it, it's just uh, your you know your typical. Uh, it's sort of similar to a New York style, but it's a little thicker, uh, not too much. But uh, yeah, we like to call it our sundry style. It's, uh, yeah, it's our, sundry. It's, our, it's your own. That's it's what's so unique style. about that's it. Right. It's your own style. Exactly. I yep. love it. I love that. All right. So. Um, now, what's so aside from the, the your unique style of the pizza? What else sets you guys apart from other pizzerias in the area? 
Um, the, the just the way we make our pizza, um, we use breadcrumb like I was telling you earlier um, on our garlic knots. We have a pesto, homemade pesto that we make in house, mm, fresh. Yes, that's every delicious day. too. Um, and just yeah, we, we, we like to put our own spin on things. We don't like to follow anybody. We like to you know when we, when we first started making the pizza here, it was a lot of trial and error, and just kept making it until we felt like this is the one. You know, we went through many different cheeses, many different sauces, and many different. Uh, flowers until we really got what we wanted. Speaking of basil, when you guys make your margarita pizza, you always put fresh basil. I mean, it's oh, yes. so obvious that it's fresh. Yes. I mean, and uh, you're the, this is the only place I've ever seen that happen. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. So, so good. It's real important when you have fresh ingredients. You know, mm -hmm. it, really, it really makes the difference. Yeah, without a doubt. Can you share some of the, your most popular specialty pizzas? What are the what are the people like the most? So it changes every day, but the most popular is I would have to say uh, the margarita pizza with the mm -hmm. basil that you were talking about. Um, we have a bruschetta pizza as well. Ooh. That one's really popular. You can get it with a marinara or a pesto base, um, and then also just you know just the classic cheese with the or you can get a pepperoni with sausage. Uh, veggie lovers, all those are very popular. But what about the kids? What are the kids like? The kids love the cheese pizza. Ah, yeah, and, sure. And uh, of course, the desserts, the zeppelins hey. as well. Oh, uh, you make zeppelins too? We do, we do. Oh, now you really got me excited. Yep, you know? yep, yep. Yeah, all with our great. homemade dough. Well, I'm from New York and I'm Italian, and my father was born in Italy. And one of my favorite things when I was a kid was homemade tepolas. So oh, yep. we we're going to have to try one of those absolutely, for sure. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> well, thank to. you so much. Oh, it's been my all pleasure. Right. Thank you, Robin. Oh, are these the garlic knots? Yes. What, the, the knot? Mm-hmm. Ah, there you go. See? You like it that? is so light. I love the uh, I love the the crisp outside, but the mm. heavenly flaky inside. That is so good. Very Look good. at the under underside yeah. of that crust. And that's important. That is very important. It's perfect. Not burnt, not raw. It has the right amount of consistency so that it doesn't droop and drop all the toppings into your lap. Mm -hmm. Perfect.